Hi! So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I want to show you my sewing space because I am moving in two days. Uh, uh, this right here, I will show you, is my sewing space. I've got my uh, sewing machine and my serger right here with my ironing board because I like them right next to each other so I can just sew and iron as I need to. Um, the patterns that I'm working on, I'll put right up here, or the patterns that I think are funny, like this one, which I will probably end up making, hopefully. Uh, you know, my pincushion, bobbins, I've got scissors and the lighter and a little sticky roller thing, whatever that's called. And on the shelf, we've got some Legos, pictures of my kid, thread, garbage. And up here I have my rocks that I use to um, weigh my patterns down. And then on my wall we have my map of the United States. And here I've got, these are two of my favorite drawings in the whole wide world. My oldest son Logan. And he was five, five or six. But anyways, I love them. And that this has been where I've sewn for the last five years, so I've kind of found, you know, a way that works for me. Um, and this right here, I keep my, um, what is this called, a little sewing basket thing. And then here I've got four bins, and I put projects that I'm going to be doing next. Like, the next thing I'm going to do, which I'm not going to make a video about it, but I'm going to do a little handprint for my daughter. I've got Logan's Halloween costume, and then two dress things that I want to work on there. Um, I have a lot of fabric and sewing stuff but I don't have a lot of space because right now we have five people in a two bedroom apartment with one bathroom and zero storage. Uh, so it's been interesting sewing in a small place for so long and I'm really excited to move to a slightly larger place and if anything we have a washer and dryer in the new place so I'll be able to wash my fabric and I'm really excited about that. And I'm excited about not having to go down to the laundromat or the washer dryer room that the apartments supply. But anyways, so. what do I do with my all my tools and my fabric and stuff like that? Well, I store them in two different places in my apartment. The first place is here, and it is full up at the top here, all the way over. Oh, it's probably not safe to store everything next to the water heater. I don't know. But I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. Up at the top, I don't know if you can see in there, I've got some bolts of fabric. And this is these are finished projects for like a craft booth or something like that. If the opportunity comes up, I've got stuff to sell. And here's my box of yarn. And then that cardboard box at the top here, right here, that is a Christmas wreath that I was going to decorate, but never got around to doing. Gosh, this is an absolute mess. When I... As moving date gets closer, my house gets messier, so I was going to clean everything up and make it all nice for you, but I never got around to it, and it's just chaos. So I'm just going to shoot this video, and it is what it is. So here, right here, these are my buttons. I put patterns that I'm currently working on, or if I'm like switching back and forth between patterns, there. These are lights um, that I use for costumes and stuff in here. It's just, I need a bigger box for that, and it's really full. And here, these used to be labeled. I don't even know what's in there right now. I think there is scrapbook stuff, stamping stuff, and marbles <laughs> at the top. Totally random. In here, I've got a doll wig. Oh, hey, there's some more lights. Um, anyways, like pom poms and uh, popsicle sticks and feathers and stuff to go in there for crafting. Here, I've got beads. I've got tools and fasteners and clips. Here, I've got tape and googly eyes and sandpaper patches. Iron on nipples. There's a story behind this that I'll get to soon, but <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, let's see here. And then up here, back in the back, if you can see there, that is a 
a box full of supplies to make a Ghostbuster backpack. Ooh. What's in here? Oh, paint. I was going to go over to my mom's house and we are going to have a craft night. So I put this stuff in there because I was going to paint some stuff. Here is my thread for my overlocker and then I have a bag of batteries there. These are patterns that I know that I'm going to work on soon. This is extra thread that doesn't fit on my little thread rack. Um, and then if you look down here, I've got um, some fabric that I need to put away or that I have plans to work on. And underneath there, if you can see, I have all of my ribbon. And then this box down here is like random craft stuff, like headbands and stuffing and little wood pieces and stuff like that. And, and like right there is a canvas. And I have a whole roll of this stuff. It's paper and it's silver on one side. Um, I used it to make a little reflector for my photography that I like to play around with. Um, but I think this would be this will come in handy when I make like a space outfit or a robot or something like that. I'm excited to play around with this, and it's it's really old. I don't know how old it is, but um, a while ago I was gifted a bunch of fabric and patterns and like fringe and just all this amazing stuff, um, which was a huge blessing because I really wouldn't be able to sew as much as I do without without all of that, that fabric. Um, and so if you're watching this and you gifted me all of that those things, thank you again. Thank you so much and I'm really grateful for it. It's coming really handy and I love it. Over on this side, we have that is an entire box of fringe. The Lodge enamel uh, cardboard bin right there, that is a UFO, <laughs> unfinished object. Along with that blanket up there, I need to finish that. And then my box of flowers and stuff like that, little wood chips and stuff that I used for wreaths. Um, and then moving down, I've got this little toolkit that I have just randomly filled up with stuff. Um, got some thread, I got doll, I got Sculpey. Anyways, I don't even know what's in there anymore. Oh, and then some Bow Nash Fuset powder, which I'm not completely sold on, but it did come in handy when I fixed my witch costume. And here I've got my tools, like a glue gun and painting supplies and stuff like that, scrapers and here is a box of trim. There's lace and sequins. Um, all sorts of fun stuff in here. Um, what is this? Oh, this is, my neighbor gave this to me. This is, um, it's a bag of quilting stuffing, like the stuff you use for a blanket, you put on the inside. And then I have four, four bins of patterns in there and so I'm really excited to move because I'll have easier access to them and I can go through them and see what I have because right now it's just so hard to do that um, and then here I've got like novelty fabrics and special fabrics and underneath here I have my lace um, in this sewing bin that you're supposed to store your sewing machine in I have paint which I'm not gonna get into there and I'm not gonna get in there and open that up and then here hanging on this hook I've got Buckram and interfacing and webbing and contact paper that I put in there. So as you can see, it is stuffed to the brim. It's really hard to just like need something and then go and get it because it's such a hassle. You have to take like half the things out of the closet and then put everything back in. So if you're sewing in a really small space, you really have to love sewing because it's it's hard. It's hard storing all of it. Um, and then I have more stuff in my bedroom, which I'm going to take you there. Anyways, I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. There is my closet of wonders right there. And my little happy wall. I've got my niece and my babies and find joy every day because, you know, life is short. Yada yada. Here it is. And later today, I'm going to start packing everything up my table. I'm kind of going to miss this space. 
I spent oh, many, many, many hours here. All right, I'm gonna turn the turn the camera off while I walk into the bedroom because my bedroom's a mess and I don't want you to see it. Okay, so here is my closet. This is my dress form and my little lighting stands that I use for vlogging and here okay, they are. I don't know if you can tell it's kind of dark in here. Let me turn the light on. There we go. Um, yeah, I use those for my photography and for vlogging. And here we have more fabric. So starting at the bottom, I have them separated into similar colors. Here and here. And I think I put patterns and stuff in that one. Yeah, patterns and interesting fabric I put there, which is, this is my favorite box. Um, Easter stuff, pay no attention to that. And then up here, I've got in this bag, it's like scraps of fabric and white fabric. And same thing with this toolbox thing. It's just full of scraps of fabric and white fabric, fabric that I know that I will use right away. All right. And now, the important thing when you're sewing in a small space or you're sewing like in your dining room, you need to be able to put stuff away. So I'm going to go ahead and put stuff away and I'll show you where I put everything. So signing off. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and put everything away. If we're having like Thanksgiving or Christmas over here, I need to be able to put all of my sewing stuff away. So are you ready? Set. Go. <laughs> All right, so now I'm ready for people to come over. It's a lot echoier. Echoier? Is that a word? It's a word now. Yeah. So this um, is everything put away, and I will show you where I put it. Now, just a fair word of warning. I know this is ridiculous, but it's what I do. And it works, so let's open the closet. Carefully. Like, is it tr 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 drink? There you go. This is this is what's causing the problem. So we'll take that out. Then I should be able to open it. <laughs> Here we go. So I've got my sewing machine, my serger, my <laughs> sewing supplies. I've got clothing hanging up there. We've got stuff shoved in the side here. My ironing board fits in there. Right here, I don't know if you can see it. Right there, yep. And, oh, yep, there's my iron. Oh, and here's my cutting board. Put that in there. And it all barely fits. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. It's a fire hazard. It's a danger. And I'm so excited to move. We're gonna have two bathrooms, we're gonna have a garage. <sighs> it's gonna be awesome. All right, so yeah, this is probably my last vlog in this apartment, which is where my middle son took his first steps and, oh man, my glasses are dirty. Um, anyways, yeah, so a lot of things happened in this apartment and I'm really kinda sad to see that go, but I'm really excited to live somewhere nicer. Yeah, this apartment's been good to us but it's also a really crappy apartment, <laughs> so. Okay, and one more thing, I forgot to show you that I put my little project station right here. I put this in my bedroom. And before I start packing everything up, here is my computer desk. It's where I edit. And yeah, here's my computer. My four-year-old, when he was a baby, he used it, oh, I guess it's not plugged in, but this whole area is black and cracked because he used it as a Frisbee, so I just have my, my laptop plugged into this monitor. Get a bigger screen. It works out. All right, I'm going to start packing all my stuff up, and in two days I get to move. I'm so excited. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.